Here's a scenario. There's a blockage in the condensate pump discharge line. The motor continues to run, generating more and more heat, yet it's unable to pump the water out. The thermal protection feature shuts the pump down even though water continues to rise. Eventually, the tank overflows. But you don't notice because you're outside enjoying the Midwest air. I'm Jeremiah Brody, and today I'll show you how you can add assurance in the case of failure for your little giant BCMA20 Pro. The BCMA Pro Series condensate pump is designed for the professional installer and has enhanced next generation features such as an optional external overflow switch. Compared to the classic VCMA series, the VCMA Pro safety switch connection is external to the product, making it easy to access. The switch has its own float that is higher than the float that turns on the pump. The switch is insurance to alert you if your pump overflows. You can be alerted by connection to a thermostat, shutting it down, activating an alarm, or a building automation system. Today I'll show you how to configure these alert options for your VCMA Pro, insurance that if something goes wrong, you will know about it. The first option is to keep the switch factory wired to the NO and COM terminals. This configuration will open or break an electrical circuit when the switch is activated by a high water level in the tank, which can be used to stop the condensing units of a heating or cooling system. Refer to the thermostat and heating and cooling units operation manual for expected switch operation and wiring connections. Connect the switch leads in the series with the low voltage thermostat circuit as specified in the heating cooling units operating manual. The second option is to reconfigure the switch to the NC terminal. For this option, you can reconfigure this switch to the NC terminal to close a low voltage circuit in the event of high water level, which could activate the external alarm or relay. Use the following procedure if the NC configuration is required. Rotate the housing upwards at the hinge tab, or remove the housing completely by lifting the housing hinge tab out of the slot. Squeeze the high level switch housing tabs. Support the switch and carefully change the lead wire from the NO terminal to the NC terminal. Return the switch housing back to the switch base. Squeeze the tabs together and insert into the switch base between ribs. Connect the switch leads in a series with the low voltage external component as specified in the components manual. Ensure the attention service technician label included with the pump is placed on the outside of the access panel in a visible location. Let's wrap things up. There are two ways to configure the external overflow safety switch on the Little Giant VCMA Pro Series pump. The first option is to keep the switch factory wired to the NO and COM terminal, which could then be used to stop the condensing unit of a heating or cooling system. The second option is to reconfigure the switch to the NC terminal, which could then be used to activate an external alarm or relay. For more training videos and e-courses, visit Franklin Tech. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Your feedback will help us continue to bring you great content. For more information about our product lineup, visit littlegiant.com. Thanks for watching.